warm good evening to everyone uh, I, i think it that gives me a privilege to have a powerful panel of uh, corporates uh, and i i am glad to you know kind of moderate this session uh, i would like to uh, probably touch upon uh, mr lakshmi narayanan's uh, initial speech and also set a context for this panel because many uh, many of you in the room uh, as i understand from the profile of the participants uh, is largely focused on um, how can the uh, larger audience society use csr as a vehicle for either carrying out the digital india mission or the skill india mission Uh, the problem statements that were put forth for skill india in terms of 120 million uh, people who will require jobs huge problem statements uh, in front of all of us uh, many of those people who want to participate and contribute to this program on one side and uh, i have uh, probably the best of the people whom you can answer to inside the corporates who would want to participate in here i i see uh, the context uh, for this session uh, Uh, being laid out in terms of trying to address uh, the very opportunity that uh, Mr. Lakshmanan is pointing out in terms of scale. What is uh, the size and scale of support uh, that the larger society uh, can do? Supplementing, uh, acting as a supplementary provider to the government in this entire mission. Uh, i i also represent the corporate uh, coming from the advisory side uh, having very closely worked uh, with the skill development bodies with the education for the last 10 years had seen a huge change that has come in i had been in this uh, sector from 2005 to 2015 i have seen numbers slowly trickle up from 2005 where they said okay education is important nsdc was born in 2008 and 9 slowly people started talking about these 100 million numbers csr became an act and then people said okay now is it possible to address from the government side we saw uh, huge schemes whether it is national urban livelihood mission uh, na national rural livelihood mission uh, corporates also trying to talk about skilling in india so uh, medley of Uh, a huge number of players talking about skilling india that came into picture but what was happening was one side there was huge government funds second there were huge corporates who were trying to look at employability jobs uh, i was part of the team which uh, did the skill development reports for national skill development corporations every time i see this number 120 million uh, i take a deep breath uh, when i see these numbers because uh, in india if you really split this number this 120 million will have a very minuscule formal employment which is probably you know kind of we talk about job creation by large companies and then there is a huge portion of self employment entrepreneurship uh, which needs to evolve if we need to meaningfully address job opportunities in a more sustainable way otherwise it becomes a mere number chasing so i uh, when i when i looked at mr lakshmanan's speech in terms of uh, the core values at the start probably focusing on entrepreneurship and then building the right scale channelizing the efforts with government i think that will set the stage for a, a, a active participation on how can we use csr as a vehicle to address this opportunity uh, i would also leave uh, two thoughts one uh, in terms of what, where i get from uh, uh, mr mashelkar who used to say uh, doing more with less for more so while the csr funds the size of the funds from the corporate seems to be less i think the expectation from the corporates who are investing money in csr in every sense seems to be similar to their business investments everybody wants to have greater business returns today if you walk into any corporate and ask them for csr spend uh, now spend has started becoming csr investments so it is a social investment then the corporate start asking you the question okay what is the return on that social investment that i am going to make so you will need to create a bigger impact of the social investment that you are making which means uh, you know you need to have a long term plan and not a short term spend at which you will do so the deliberation somewhere can focus in terms 
of how corporates look at CSR investments, if I may use the word, rather than CSR spends. While 3.5 crores, uh, 5 crores as to what my colleague was presenting on, what is the minimal spend that one would do, uh, corporates do a lot of volunteering, do a lot of spending, but is it happening in the right places? Are they getting the right kind of people to execute this? And are they able to really monitor the results so that they will be able to communicate to the board and then say, okay, furthermore, invest onto these initiatives. That's going to be a big challenge. So this session, I think, uh, will be about, while there are a few social experiments on social enterprise uh, models in the last few years, a lot of questions are going to be on, are there scalable models in India which the corporates have really explored? A uh, number of you in the audience would have uh, seen certain models, so you're free uh, to question some of our panelists to understand how you can really collaborate with the corporates and the government to make the impact a little bit higher. The second area also being sustainability of a CSR initiative. I just go back to Mr. Ranade's point. It's easy to say, okay, I will have a volunteering. But in India, a lot of CSR spending, whether it's going to be on uh, sanitation hygiene that we are seeing as Swachh Bharat mission or skilling India, a, a lot more at the ground level is a behavioral change. It's a cultural change of acceptance, which takes a little bit of time. And it requires uh, a number of players to come together to ensure that you institutionalize this when you are growing in. So scale with an optimum number probably will help us to address quality in there rather than just mere numbers. I, I'm not sure whether we are going to meet 200 million jobs and 200 million skilled people that's going to be in there. But what would be the quality of the people that we are going to skill is equally important when we are really talking about it. Otherwise, it's going to be a devil for an India, not an opportunity. So uh, focus in terms of how do corporates really look at their, look at scaling their CSR programs and how can others contribute in could be a good point of discussion uh, from this audience and I would uh, like to you know, kind of look at that. The third, I would also uh, like uh, the panelists to share some of the challenges that they have faced in their own organizations. Uh, uh, we have uh, four panelists. Uh, uh, we have with us uh, probably joining a little bit later, uh, Kumar Jayant. Uh, uh, Secretary Labor and Employment. I'm sure there's a huge government role in terms of looking at where exactly the Skill India would happen and what are certain areas which will create livelihood opportunities. While, while we talk about jobs in large corporate, uh, this session also focuses on livelihood opportunities. So rural India, 70 million people probably require livelihood opportunity. It's a skill for their life. So it, it's going to be an interesting area and there's a lot of government programs. Uh, he's one of our panelists. We have Mr. Pradeep Nair, uh, who is a managing director uh, with Autodesk India and SAR Corporations. Uh, so who would bring in a corporate view and perspectives into the skilling. We have with us uh, Mr. MP Vijay Kumar, uh, CFO or SIFI. Uh, so he will share his perspectives on the skill and livelihood opportunities. Uh, and we also have, uh, while we, you search for CEOs, HRs, and others uh, in the corporate, uh, we do have uh, Ms. Anupam Nidhi, uh, who represents uh, the Reliance Group of Companies. She heads the group CSR activity. So you will have a perspective of a CEO, managing director. You will have a perspective of a CFO. How does he look at it? You have a perspective of a CSR person heading inside the corporate, and you will have a perspective from the government department, and I hope it will be useful for all of you. So I'll just now uh, call upon uh, Mr. Pradeep Nair uh, to address the gathering.